All right, so people get confused about the audience paragraph. I'm going to sh walk you through how I might do this. Um, basically, what you're trying to do in this paragraph is explain to whoever wrote the article you chose who their audience is. So they know who their audience is, but you want to show them and show me that you know who their audience is. And you're going to have, you're kind of going to back this up with some examples. So to figure out who the audience is, you need to think about the subject matter of the article. So if this is my article, subject matter is Google and the internet. So that gives me a clue that, okay, this is written for people that are interested in technology. Well, that's probably not specific enough. If that's all I say, that's not really going deep enough. So after I think about the subject matter, I need to look at where is this article published. So it's published in a website called The Atlantic. And your article is going to be published on a certain website or in a certain place. So I might click on this main homepage and see what kind of website is this. And you can get a, you can learn some things just by looking at the home page. Kind of like what kind of slant do they have? Is this kind of a more liberal, a more conservative source? Is it in between? And you might even do some research here. So I could go, um, I can go into Google and search for the Atlantic. magazine and look it up and uh, a lot oftentimes like the about page they will have an about page that you can look at sometimes um, they can tell you kind of what things they talk about so in this case if I scroll down to the bottom there's the about page and I can learn about them here I can also in my research um, maybe not Wikipedia but look at other websites what they have to say about them and who reads them i can also type in media bias with that title and a lot of times you can go to this media bias fact check website which is awesome and you click on that and it'll tell you who reads it what kind of bias they have so that's very useful you can check that out and so those will all give you clues about who reads this so by the time you do that you're putting together an understanding of who reads this publication? Who is it aimed for? So like what age group? Um, what kinds of people? What uh, political persuasion? And then also looking at the article itself for clues. So like based on the kinds of examples and the language and the voice they use, can you tell anything about the audience? And you want to lay that out for us. But you're going to have to do a little bit of digging and, and searching here to find out who the audience might be and then come up with a compelling case there. Now, I would recommend looking at the sample papers to see how they handle this section, but it's also important to convince us. So once you find an example, say that you've been digging around on this website and you find that this is a website for more uh, liberal-minded readers, and maybe you found that on the Media Bias Fact Check, you're going to need to save that page and cite it. And so in your audience paragraph, you want to kind of lay it out in a way that is convincing to us. So remember you're writing to the author and you might say in your article you make it clear or let's start over but you want to have a topic sentence don't copy mine word for word but something along these lines the target audience for your article is and then who is it? let us know and then you're going to give us reasons why so you might say like I can tell the article is aimed at a more liberal audience because according to me a media bias fact check the readership of the Atlantic is mostly liberal or mostly conservative and then I would cite that source as well now when it comes to citing um, the media bias fact check source if there's no listed author when you pull this up so I was right there is a left center bias here um, you can list um, media bias fact check as the author um, and so in your citation here and then maybe I'll explain that here 
and um, I might say like according to the media bias fact check website so that's kind of my signal phrase there and then just to be safe I'm going to put the title of this article which will show up on my works cited page which is the Atlantic so I would say the Atlantic that's the title of their page if there's no clear author listed you include the title of the page in your citation but I kind of also I kind of also uh, made a little signal phrase mentioning the website title so I'm kind of double covered here and then we you want to kind of expand kind of your explanations here so you might also say um, I can also tell that the readership of your article is mostly I might say like they're mostly middle-aged and then I might uh, pull examples from the article itself that show that this is aimed towards uh, working professional adults maybe um, from 20 to 50 in that range age range because those are the kinds of people that that are going to be worried about this issue and I might pull examples that show you know these authors are all or these people that you cite for quotes are all working professionals and you are a working professional so it seems like it's aimed at working professionals people in that age age range so the key is you find examples you lay out those examples you can bring in quotes and then you explain why you think that is for each example you're gonna have three total examples and then you're going to have a sentence of explanation for each example that explains why you think the audience is that characteristic so again, look at the sample paper, but that should give you an idea of what we're doing here.